Welcome to your weekly look at West Georgia Wolves men's basketball on the Coach Dave Moore Show. And hello again, everybody, with Coach Dave Moore. Mitch Gray, welcome you in to the Coach Dave Moore Show as it's opening day for basketball coming up this weekend. Your West Georgia Wolves playing up in Cleveland, Tennessee at Walker Arena, head-to-head uh, -head against the Sunshine State Conference for a couple of ball games. And Coach Moore, we got a little bit of a glimpse of the upcoming year over in Athens the other night against uh, a quality SEC opponent. What'd you learn out of that one against Georgia? Well, I thought we played hard. You know, that, that was the first thing we wanted to accomplish is play hard and compete. Um, you know, we couldn't throw the ball in the ocean if we fell out of a boat that night. But um, there were some positives. You know, we, uh, we had 23 offensive rebounds. You know, 46 rebounds total against an SEC team is, is a solid number. Um, so, you know, the, so that's something that we can build on in that area. And then we turned them over 26 times, you know, and our zone was a part of that. And um, I thought our guys played hard and they scrapped. We just couldn't convert on the other end when we had open looks, and we had a chance to keep the game close early in the game with some made shots and just couldn't make shots. Um, but our guys played hard, and that was a positive. I've seen games like that. I don't know if this one fit that, where teams, especially in that setting in a big arena, kind of rush things a little bit. They get to the old John Wooden line, be quick, but don't hurry. Yeah, yeah. and I thought Mark Will, you know, he had some good looks, and he – he wanted to do so well um, against those guys in that game on that stage, and um, I thought he just, you know, was, was forcing a few things and, and got tight. And you know, once the ball is not going in the basket for you, sometimes it's hard to get out of that funk. And uh, we never got out of that funk, but we battled for 40 minutes, which I'm proud of. Well, of course, you get the official opener this weekend, yeah. and it's right out of the gate against folks that are in our region and games that that really matter against two quality opponents. Uh, we'll start, first of all, Friday, Palm Beach Atlantic. What are you looking at out of this group? Well, re really well coached. Coach Balsa does a great job um, at Palm Beach Atlantic. And, and then they've got they've got a core group of seniors. They've got three seniors that are, that are good players, that have been good players over their career at Palm Beach Atlantic, um, that just like us, that they'll rely on uh, to be the, the foundation of what they're doing. And then they, they've recruited some talented guys, some new guys that we haven't, quite frankly, had a chance to see, um, you know, because this is our first game, their first game, and there's nothing on tape from them. This is interesting. I know exhibition games happen, but uh, when you have close scrimmages and whatever, it is a little bit of a mystery going into the season, isn't it? Yeah, they've had two close scrimmages, uh, and then they had a scrimmage with a, a junior college team. and you know, made an agreement not to exchange film and all that stuff. So uh, we're going in a little bit blind, you know, but it's uh, same coach, uh, more than likely a very similar system. Uh, we got to see uh, tape of all the returning guys, uh, which is about half the team um, from last year. So we, we have an idea of what they're going to do, but it's it's new. Now, you'll have a little different situation on Saturday. Emory Riddle's played some ball games. Yeah. Plus, you'll get a chance to eyeball them in person uh, in the, uh, their other ball game on Friday when they play Lee. Yeah, Andy's been watching tape on Emory Riddle, and they've played a few games, and, and it's it's a big um, a big deal to be able to see them live um, tomorrow night after we play, and, and just get a feel for their guys and uh, up close and how they look and um, you know who their go-to guys are, that type of thing, and uh, hear some calls, and it's it's a it's an advantage to be able to scout live. Um, and they'll have the same advantage scouting our game, you know. But, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be a different prep for Emory Riddle than it is for Palm Beach. I would think very much. And, uh, of course, this is a classic format as they have used to be you would have tournament formats early in the year. But these crossovers, you know who you're going to play. And you get a lot. It's a staple of Division Two basketball, a lot of these two games in less than 24-hour deals coming up. Is that good for you? I think so. You're going to find out about your team. You know, usually you know, these back-to-back -back games are, are tournament play, like you said, and, and more at the end of the season. But um, you know, I, I think it's going to it's going to challenge us. Um, you know, three games in the next six days. Um, you know, so it's coming fast and furious. But um, you know, this will give us kind of a tournament format, playing back-to-back -back nights, and um, I think that's good early in the season. You find out what, what we're made of, what we're good at, what we're not good at, and um, you know, then we can adjust from there. You certainly do have a challenge coming out of the gate this season with this one back to back, and then, of course, the that group over in Charlotte, uh, one of the better teams and better programs in the country. Yeah, you know, two South Region games, and then we put Queens on the schedule as a home and home. We'll go to their place uh, this year, and they'll come to us next year. But you know, a team that went to the national semifinal last year and uh, ranked seventh in the country preseason, and um, you know, I, I want to play games like that. You know, if you if you want to be a top tier Division two team uh, in the country. 
top tier program in the country. You got to go out and play top tier programs in the country, and that's that's what we did with Queens, and we're excited about that opportunity. And but we got we got two to to worry about here in the South Region to start it off. There you go, and that of course coming up Friday. And uh, at the Walker Arena in Cleveland, Tennessee, it'll be the Wolves against Palm Beach Atlantic coming back on Saturday, Embry-Riddle. Coach, when we get together next week, we get to talk about the home opener, a chance for our fans to come out and watch the Wolves play in the Coliseum. We're excited to get to that date, Mitch. Absolutely. Sure. Coach Dave Moore, thanks for being with us today. This is the Coach Dave Moore Show. We're with you all season long talking West Georgia Wolves basketball, and we hope you'll follow us all the details and information, uwgsports.com, and go Wolves!